We had $500 for our six-year-old, soon to be seven-year-old's birthday. And so today I'm gonna go over exactly what we bought her and were we under or over. Spoiler alert, we were over. I know, if you follow me for more than 30 seconds to find out that we were over budget is not at all shocking. So let's go over it. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. So today I wanted to show you what we got Melina for her birthday and I will go over line by line how much we paid for each item and where we got it. You can see some of it going on in the background. Super exciting. So let's go over it. This year we focused on getting her exactly what she wanted and there were three things on the list that she wanted and one thing on the list that she needed. So that's what we stuck with and we opted for less gifts that were bigger and so let's show ya. So the very first thing we got her was something she's been asking for for almost a year. We got her a hoverboard. Let me show ya. So I am gonna put over here, I'm gonna put exactly how much we spent on everything and keep a running total at the bottom because I don't remember the prices off the top of my head. So oh, we got the hoverboard on Amazon and for the stuff that we bought new, I'll put a link down below just if you wanna check it out. We got the iridescent color because Melina is like a rainbow -y kind of girl. The next thing that we got was an impulse purchase and this is what put us over budget. We got her an LOL surprise because she is like legit obsessed with LOL dolls. And so we saw this at Target when we were getting one of the other items. And so we went ahead and got it. So I know the little LOLs, but I don't know what's in here, but I can see through it a little bit and there's, there's a lot going on and it's limited edition. Ooh, fancy. The next thing we got was secondhand. Ah, oh, yes. We actually buy quite a few things secondhand for Melina, especially when it comes to American Girl doll. One, because they're crazy expensive. And two, most of them, when you buy them secondhand, look brand new. So this is one of those purchases. So we got her the American Girl doll bike. And it has a little trailer thing. And we got this off uh, Facebook Marketplace. And it is virtually brand new. It looks like the handlebars got cockeyed in the move. But that's easy to fix. I don't know what this does. Do you know what that does? Anybody? If anybody knows what this does, let me know in the comments below. Here, I'll show you. Anyone? Anyone? What's this do? Oh, it's the trailer hitch. I got it. The... That's how the, the trailer attaches. Super cute, American Girl doll. One of the things she asked for was an American Girl doll bike. And then she has a little trailer for dollies or pets. And we got that, again, secondhand. I think it's retired, so, but I loved the colors. The, the blue and the purple. Super cute. And then the next thing we bought, we bought from Target. I actually looked for it used in multiple places. But by the time you included shipping, it ended up being more expensive if you bought it used. So we bought it new from Target. Oh, and it is an American Girl doll ice cream truck. Well, it's our generation. Here, let's see. Our generation, not American Girl doll. But it is freaking adorable. Let me show you all the little things it's got going on in here. See that? Look at all those things. Aren't those adorable? It's got little ice creams. So I know she is going to love this. And this is also one of the things that she was begging us for. The last thing that we got for Melina for her birthday was a bike. She had outgrown her bike. She did not ask for a bike, but she needs a bike for the summer times. So the last bike she got was actually given to us by a friend. So it didn't cost us, cost us anything. She's not a huge bike rider yet. She enjoys riding the bike, but she doesn't do it a lot. So we didn't want to spend a lot of money on like a, a new bike. And plus she's not full grown. So this bike will probably only size wise last her maybe two or three years. So we didn't want to spend a ton on a bike, but we wanted to get her a bike that we knew she would love. So we got her this one 
and obviously I'm not gonna hold it up because yeah, it's too huge. And it's hiding in the garage right now. This is gonna be one of those things that we slap a bow on and give to her. All in all, we were a little bit over. Not too bad. I mean, relatively speaking, this is, this is nothing compared to previous years where we plan on spending one amount and end up going crazy over the budget. It was super easy this year because we knew exactly what she wanted and we had a, a budgeted amount and we relatively speaking stayed close to it. So I'm pretty pleased with how this went. So let's see if the rest of the birthday festivities are as close to budget. You'll find out soon. If you know us at all, staying on budget for gift giving is really, really, really difficult for us. I mean, like massively difficult. So, so give us a big thumbs up for, you know, being close to our budget and not really blowing it too bad. I mean, $35 for us is pretty freaking amazing. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out. I have to go paint now. Bye.